welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and let's chat about days at the Morasaki Bookshop. Takako's life has been turned upside down and she reluctantly goes to her uncle Satori's bookshop to live and work. This story is about new beginnings and Takako finding herself. This book was made into a movie called Morasaki Shoten no Hibi. The story takes place in two locations, so a coffee shop and bookstore. So the bookstore is located in Jimbocho, which is actually a place in Choyora, Tokyo. All the, uh, Jimbocho is also known as a Kanda Bookstore or Bookstore Alley. This place is a bibliophile haven, uh, trying to find secondhand books or potentially stumbling upon rare finds. Every year they hold a used bookstore festival. So I do hope to be able to experience this the next time I'm in Japan. So I was recently in Japan, but I didn't go to Jimbocho. I went to a different bookstore. So if you wanted to check that video out, go ahead. The link is above here. I thought the author did a good job just detailing enough and letting your imagination take the rest. I love books where you they glamorize bookstores and coffee shops. I think there's something about um, discovering a new book, talking to people that read the same book as you, or just talking to regular customers that come in. There's something about that that I love. Another thing I like about this book is when Takako was looking through some used books, she found a pressed flower. And I thought that was a nice detail because it kind of shows the history or the journey that the book went through. How cool is it if you look through a used book and you see like notes scribbled in there or something from the past that tells you a little bit about who owned the book and what the book went through. So I like that little detail about that book there. I think we can all relate to this book somehow, especially when we're on a slump and what do we do to get out of it? You know, sometimes we need to be surrounded by people. Sometimes we need to be alone and or we may just get up and, and move to a different location to just get out of the slump. And you know, the people we meet along the way, whether they're your family members or strangers, you know, they help you uh, through those issues that you're running away from. And in the same time, you're kind of discovering new hobbies and things that you didn't know you liked before. My favorite character is Uncle Satori. He has such a big heart, especially one, letting Takako live in the bookstore rent-free, sign me up. But I think he also knows um, when to give her space and when to be there for her when she needs him. So I like that he has that like EQ of like understanding um, what she needs and giving her time too, right? He's not like rushing her to move out right away. He's like, you know, you know, stay here as long as you need. You know, I'm here if you need me. So I like that about that, their um, family dynamic there. I can see not a lot of people liking this book because one, maybe people are not interested in reading something where, you know, if something happened to you, you want to see this person do something crazy, right? Something drastic with their life. And unfortunately, that isn't the case for Takako. You know, she is just this average person trying to figure out life. And I'm okay with reading stories about that because I think it shows again, different ways of people dealing with things. And so that would, I guess would be a con I would see in this book where maybe not a lot of people m might like this book. Maybe might, they might see this as mundane or boring, but uh, to me, I don't think so. So final thoughts here, people connecting over books and coffee, sign me up. I'm excited to read the next book in the series called Days of More Days at the Morisaki Bookshop. Like always, please let me know your thoughts. Did you like the book? Did you like the book? Who is your favorite character? Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Happy reading.